Now today, December 17th, marks the fourth anniversary of former North Korean leader Kim Jong-il's death. Kim Jong-un, who took power after his father died, has built a fierce reputation for being ruthless with his reshuffles. Our colleague Kim takes a look at how Pyongyang's power structure has changed over the last four years. These were the top seven aides of late North Korean leader Kim Jong-il, who were all in the front row at his funeral. Fast forward four years, and the only ones that remain are Kim Gi-nam, head of North Korea's propaganda ministry, and Che tae bok the secretary of the Workers' Party. The rest, they've either been removed from their positions or put to death. Kim Jong-un's reign of terror continues to this day. Former defense chief Hyun young chul was publicly executed in April, and Workers' Party secretary Che ryong hae has reportedly been sent to a rural collective camp for so-called re-education. More than 70 percent of senior officials in the party, military and the government, have reportedly been replaced during the young leader's relatively short reign. Stepping into the shoes of the deposed include Hwang byung seo director of the General Political Bureau of the Korean People's Army, and Cho young won deputy department director in the Workers' Party Central Committee. Hwang and Cho have risen to become key officials, assisting Kim Jong-un 81 and 41 times respectively this year. North Korea experts in Seoul say Kim Jong-un replaced most of his father's aides with those loyal to him to head off a possible attempt to overthrow him in the formative years of his leadership. Many watchers believe Kim will announce another reshuffle in the coming months to cement his grip on power with a close circle of relatively young officials in their 40s and 50s. Connie Kim, Arirang News.